that airplane means it's time for a new summer edition of CNN Stoop News. Hi everyone, I'm Tamika Jones and this week we're focusing on connections, specifically career connections. That's the name of a segment we debuted the past school year. The goal of Career Connections is to give you guys a look at some of the different jobs around CNN. But first, we want to look at jobs in general. You definitely want to take notes for this. Candace McLemore is here to give us some career advice from a recruiter's perspective. Hi, Candace. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. First question, what exactly does a recruiter do? A recruiter basically has the role of finding qualified and talented employees for a company. Can you share with our audience, which is a middle and high school audience, a few do's and some don'ts on how to put together a resume? Sure. I would say in terms of do's, first of all, pick a very simple format. You don't have to get elaborate. You don't want to use a lot of, you know, different fonts or colors or um, fancy items on your resume. You want somebody to be able to view it very quickly and to understand what your skills and your qualifications are. And secondly, in terms of the content, I would say really think about um, what are the qualities and qualifications that you have. Certainly you can list uh, job duties that you've had at previous um, companies, but you also want to think outside the box and in terms of accomplishments as well. Did you solve a particular problem? Did you win an award? Were you able to, um, were you on a particular dean's list or things like that? Try to think about other accomplishments that you can encompass and then also other involvement that you've had outside of the work world as well. So think about volunteer organizations that you've been a part of um, and then also certainly any technical systems or software, things like that, that you may know how to use, even if you use it in your personal space and not professionally, if it's a skill that you have, you should include that on your resume. Okay, my last question. Speaking to that middle or high school student, what tips and tricks maybe you can provide for them to get ahead of the competition? I would say for them to get ahead of the competition, to really get involved either in their school, in organizations, or on their campuses when they go off to college. One of the things that um, our company looks for in uh, for our interns is people who are really passionate um, about what we do, but have also put that into practice in any way that they can. So if they want to be a publicist, they're on the PR committee for their student organization or their sorority or where, whatever it may be, they're not just going to classes. They're doing more and taking more time to get exposure in any way that they can, even in their extracurricular activities. Don't put away that pen and paper yet. A few CNN professionals also have some great advice to share. They talked about their jobs and career connection segments last school years. If you missed those reports, go to CNNStudentNews.com to check them out. In the meantime, hear what those employees had to say about how to get a jump start on your career. It's definitely okay not knowing exactly what you want to do and saying this is what I want to be in 10 years. The best part is the journey there allows you to experience and try different things until you find what really works for you. The advice that I would give is if your school has a broadcasting program, make sure you are in that program. Find out what your passion is. Because whenever you find out something that you really feel strongly about and you have a good background in it, whatever you decide to do, it won't feel like work. It'll just feel like something that you're doing for fun because you're interested in it. One of the best pieces of advice I was given is um, treat every job like you're running for a political office. That doesn't mean, you know, go shake hands and kiss babies and all that kind of stuff. It just means get your name out there. Let people know you're interested and pursue it and don't stop. Being proactive, I think, in any, any field is, is the way to go. And, and having ideas and not being afraid to speak out and being confident in yourself. You shouldn't get discouraged by um, if someone gives you some sort of criticism or critique or feedback. You just have to know that you believe in yourself and you've done your best. You have to have passion in everything you do. It doesn't matter if it's at work or at home or in school. You have to have passion. You have to come with energy and excitement. Persistence, because there's another person willing to take it from you if you don't keep, one, if you don't keep pushing forward. 
patience, which is it doesn't all come at the beginning. It takes time actually to get where you want to be. It doesn't happen overnight. Um, and positioning. So every day you wake up, you got to think about how you can better yourself for tomorrow. Lesson to everybody, whether you're a journalist or, or anything else, any other type of career, is be willing to take risks because if you're truly passionate about it, you know, follow your passion and success will follow, uh, it will pay off in the end. So are you connecting with any specific career yet? We asked you guys that question on our blog last year. Some of you may have changed your minds and that's okay, but here's what a few of you had to say then. Caitlin says she wants to be a second grade teacher. She says it's easy for her to learn about this career. All she has to do is observe her current teacher. Colton dreams of becoming an archeologist so he can make important discoveries. On the other hand, Tyler said he wants to be a kid a little longer and do the stuff as a kid he won't do as an adult. He said sometimes you have to slow down. Cassandra and Olivia have something in common. They, w they both want to be veterinaries when they get older. And Gavin believes that no matter how young you are, it is never a bad idea to give some thought to your possible profession. He says in these economic times, good jobs are hard to find. Some of you might be spending your summer working. Well, whether you're interning with a company or just plain old having fun, we want you to tell us about it. There are two ways you can do it right on our blog or send in a video. You have to at least be 13 to do that. You can do both at cnnstudentnews.com. We finished the job for now, but we're already working on our next summer show. Be sure to recruit your friends to tune in next week. For CNN Student News, I'm Tamika Jones.